are you? What do you want from me? Uh, hi, Angela. I know you don't know me, but I do know you. As to what I want from you, trust me, darling, there's nothing you can give to me. I'm here for your boyfriend, Daniel. He's going to be here to see you this evening, yes? <laughs> Good girl. Andy? I have some good for Please. Please. Don't hurt her. Please. Damien. I like you so much and I want you to be so comfortable. Would you want to lie or kneel? Kneel for me, Damien. Good boy. Surprise, surprise. Here I am in Nigeria, you are still alive. Don't hurt her, please, please. I'm not here for Jambo. He has the gun in my hand. I've told you, Damien. Serious business. You don't do as I say. I shoot her. Oh, tell me. What do you want me to do? Oh, good question, Damien. I like you so much. Very good question. I want you to go to Spencer's house and get me the computer he used to do the Italian business 10 years ago. I have it on good authority that he discarded those computers when he found out the truth about those business deals to cover up his dirty ass. Now you, my dear friend, are going to go there and get me that exact computer. If you don't get it, as I said earlier, she is so gone. Uh, what? I, I don't have the key to this store. How is that possible? Damien. Damien, Damien, Damien. You are the domestic manager of the house. Reasons because you are chief's most loyal assistant. Forgotten? If you don't have the key, search for it. Ask, find it, open it, and get me that particular computer. But these computers have been out of use for the past nine years. <sighs> Damien, now you're going to have to keep quiet and do exactly as I say. Andy is a computer expert. How he uses it, when he uses it, what he does with it is none of your freaking business. Just get me the computer exactly in an hour. Else, she is dead. No, no, no. Please, please, don't, don't touch her. Don't touch her. We're about to get married soon. Please. <laughs> I'm sure Chief and Spencer will be very happy with you when they hear what happened tonight, will they? The clock is ticking, Damien. clock is ticking. Okay, okay. Okay, Cross, let's go, let's go. Please, let's go. No, no, no. You need offer me a drink? Oh, 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 bad, 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 Kirsty. Your hands are tied. Of course not. Which one of them is it? Yes. Okay. I'll be outside. Uh, no, no, no. Stay where I can be seen. You. So I wanted to stay here. Okay? Uh, look, bros, I can't stay in here. S somebody might just come in here and see us. I need to watch. Look, when you came into the house, you were in the trunk of the car. And when I went in to get the keys, you, you hid somewhere. So if I had wanted to play pranks, I would have done that. Please be fast. Just get whatever you want to get. Right, time is running out. Besides, I don't want anything to happen to Angela. All right, brilliant guy. Just stay right here, okay? How far? Um, yes, I was able to, after Sebra tries to reactivate the hard disk. I had to fix it into another computer, copied all the files in it. Even those in the recycle bin as instructed. I have everything. 
on this flash drive. Oh, give me that, give me that. Give me that, Andy. Andy, gracias, gracias, perfecto, perfecto. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Exactly. My goodness. Oh, Andy, gracias. Italian word that means thank you. Gracias, Andy, gracias. <laughs> oh, Andy, Andy. <sighs> Give me the hard disk. So where's my balance? Ah. Uh... Checks and balances, huh? I like you. We'll definitely work together. You will get it once I get my balance. Ah, you didn't forget, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Let's say that again. I'll get you a balance, I'll get you a balance. My goodness. You get your balance. <laughs> Why, hi, Spencer. Yes, um, how, uh, how, uh, how did I get into the country alive, or how did I locate you? Listen, Kathy, I'm, 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 I'm very glad to see you right now. Um, could we, this is like the wrong time and place for us. The right time and place? The right time and place for meeting your girlfriend you haven't seen in 10 years? That is supposed to be the hug and the kiss? Don't be silly. Come here. Listen now. Ten years is, is, is too long. It's a long time ago. Long time ago for what to happen? For the love you have for me to die? Um, could we meet somewhere else, somewhere later, uh, and um, talk about this? What is it? What are you hiding? Ah! You have company. Who is she? Oh, listen, um, we can talk about this when we meet later. Okay, can, can I have your number? I have your number, Mr. Uh huh. That means I am going to give you a call by 2 p.m. and then we can meet up to them. Fine, fine, fantastic. It's a deal. We will meet. We'll talk. And um, it's really beautiful to see you. You look, you look fantastic. Oh, so I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you sometime. Later. Hi. I a power three one thousand dollars from some Italian guys. Sent me to Italy to become a sex slave. I got into trouble. I got into jail, and then you abandoned me to burn in the fire that you ignited. You betrayed her love, Spencer. Then, by the grace of God, I survived it all. I come back home to see you, and then you sit before me. You have the effrontery, the temerity, the guts to tell me that you have another woman. How mean can you get, Spencer? You seem to forget, Cassie, that I was also a victim. You? A victim? You were the one who got paid $200,000 to supply 200 Nigerian girls. I, the girls in Italy, were the ones who slaved, sold our bodies to make money for some Italian blokes for two freaking years. And then you sit there, cross your legs, and tell me you were a victim? Cassie, lower your voice, okay? Now, you were my girlfriend and my personal secretary. You applied for this Italian deal against my advice. You did that because you thought these guys were working for a charity organization, like I did. You thought they were securing job opportunities and um, scholarships for young African women, like I did. Now, you saw the paperwork they presented. And you thought it was good business, like I did. How the hell was I supposed to know that they were human traffickers? That they were running a prostitution ring? How was I supposed to know that, Cassie? Tell me. 
Mr. Innocent. What the hell did you do when you found out about what happened? What did you do to remedy the situation? Good. I contacted Mr. Adelike, the same guy who helped me organize the deal. I wanted to, to secure you guys' release. But they asked for $20,000 for each of you. Spencer, such greed. You were paid $200,000. And you couldn't give out $20,000 to secure the release of your own girlfriend from such bondage? I wanted to. But I couldn't. I mean, how could I tell Mr. Adelike to secure your release when he had three of his cousins there? Would you? Seriously? I mean, really? Like, honestly? That justifies you? It does? Like I said, I'm sorry. That's all you can say. Sorry. I'm prepared to offer you $30,000. You can use it to start your life over again. Do whatever you want. And forget you. Forget my Spencer. Let the new girl have you. Well, darling, I have not come here to seek your apology or your payment. I came back here for you. I still want you, Spencer. You don't seem to understand the situation here, yeah, Cassie. Yanka and I are not just lovers. We're about to get married. And cancel it. I am back. Either you take what I'm offering you and walk, or you go to hell, babe. You will get to hell faster than I would, Spencer. Don't let me act. Mr. Deleke was actually killed by some of the girls who came back to Nigeria eight years ago. Not sexy. The only reason why you are seated here, smoking cigarettes, sipping on red wine, is because of the way the whole thing was structured. None of the girls know that you were the brain behind it all. Don't test me, Spencer. You know what? When I found out what the deal was all about, I destroyed all the evidence. You have no material evidence against me. You did. It's your word against mine. Mm -hmm. And to you, you and your father have so much wealth, so much arguments. The only thing I see against you will be held as ordinary. Good luck, darling. Magnificent. <laughs> oh, I would say totally wonderful. <laughs> ah, like the biblical King Solomon <laughs> and Queen Sheba. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Now that says much about my baby's fashion sense. Oh, yeah, she picked out the outfit. Oh, well, if it had been different, I, I would have doubted my sense of judgment. You know, from the first day I laid my eyes on you, I, I judged you. Virtue and excellence on two feet. Oh, Chief. <laughs> Chief, you're always making me blush. Because you're always making me proud, my dear. Oh, you're talking about that. You remind me of something. Uh -huh. mm -hmm.
I have a package for you? I'm not interested, Cassie. Not if it's the hard disk of the computer we use in the office for the Italian deal. Go on, take it. I've taken everything I want from it. So go on, take You're it. such a liar, Cassie. I disposed of that computer myself. Oh, you did? Where? The refuse dump or in a room in your house? Go on. There's no harm in trying. Just take it. Assuming that thing you're holding in your hand is the hard disk from the computer, I think it will be useless to you now because it's been sitting in that storeroom for nine years gathering dust and viruses. Oh, sexy. You know, honestly, if I were you, I wouldn't be sounding too sure until I've checked the hard disk myself. Are you taking it or not? Go on, there's no harm in trying. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Come on. Just to prove you wrong, I'll take it. Please do. Well, Cassie. Get off my back. I'll try. I don't want to have to hurt you. I'll try. There's someone to help me. You are trying to tell me that somebody came through that gate, came into the compound, went into the house, straight to the storeroom, took something, and you never saw the person. What do you think? It's getting me more and more confused. I don't understand. Get out of here. Huh? Get out of here! I have been to that storeroom. I checked the hard disk. Everything is intact. How the hell could we bring this computer to the house, keep it in the storeroom, without erasing the files in it? Well, how could we have known that someone would get in there and steal some piece of information from it? And that person turned out to be Cassie, of all people. There is no way she could have done this without, without, without help from within the compound. No way. I've interrogated everybody. Everybody apart from Dad and Bianca. No one seems to know what happened. No one seems to have seen anybody. Now, apart from Dad and I, you are the only other person that has access to the keys to that storeroom. What? Sir, are you insinuating that I gave Cassie a piece of information that could destroy me? Look, I've served you family for so many years. When you did that business, I was your personal assistant, so it involves me. I stood by you when your father had issues with the military government, when all the staff in this house left. Your family, friends, everyone never wanted anything to do with you people. Now how could I? How could I now want to destroy 
you and your father's public and political image. Especially now that I'm about to start reaping from the success of the family. Oh no, I couldn't have done that. Okay, listen, listen, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm in a fix here. All right, I'm in a fix. The Cassie I've seen within the past few days will do anything with that information she, she has. She's desperate. I don't know what to do, man. Oh, well, I'll advise that you just get to see her and ask her what she wants. Yes. You know what she wants? No. She wants me to cancel the wedding. What? She wants me to send Bianca away and then start off where we left off. Oh, that's incredible. Why not meet her? Um, negotiate with her. I know it will all bow down to money. Yes, she'll need money because she's been in an Italian jail for eight years. Eight good years. Listen, Cassie, I am not denying anything, okay? I accept the responsibility for everything that happened to you in Italy. And I'm sorry for it. I'm down on my knees right now begging you. Please forgive me. Spencer. Honestly, I'm so fascinated by your humility. It chills me. Spencer kneeling. Well, I, I, I must say, I'm chilled. And at the same time, I'm wondering, did you honestly pay for this hotel room? Invited me in here? Just to kneel and ask my forgiveness? Oh, come on, sexy. I never, ever have any grudges against you. You're not to blame for what happened to me at Italy. That's solely my problem, my fault. Besides, I love you. I love you so much. And all I'm asking is that you come back to me. Come back. Cassie. I um I appreciate the fact that you love me, but <laughs> I've got to... But you're in love with some other woman. Some other woman has taken my place. And that's so sad, Spencer. I mean considering the magnitude of the records I have in my hands and what it could do to you, your planned wedding, your father's image, his political ambition. My goodness, all crashing like packs of cards. Cassie, exposing those records won't just harm me and my family and you. There are others, innocent families. Do you really want to do that to them? Smart Spencer. I see you came well prepared. Spencer, you and I know I won't be able to hurt you with what I have in my possession. Reasons because I love you so much. I'm not here for anything to hurt you. Well, I'm in a very serious financial mess. Any amount you want, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Anything. The last time you came to my place, you mentioned something about. $30,000. I want that money at my place tomorrow. That's all uh, it's gonna be? That's all? Of course. I mean, of course, yes. Sexy. I mean, you found love and joy in some other woman's arms. Why would I want to be the terrible Cassie, the jealous Cassie, the possessive Cassie? I don't want to steal your joy or kill your thunder. So I'll just let you, let you be. 12 noon tomorrow, $30,000. My place. Thank you. I'll be there. I promise you that. Thank you. That's the one. Not even a hug. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Now, um, yeah. Hard. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, uh, do you love this man? Um, okay. 
Oh, oh, sorry. Yes. So, um, <clears throat> gotta go. Um, since you've already paid for the hotel, I'll just make myself comfortable in here. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them to send you anything you want. Champagne. Thank you. They'll send you over to you. Thanks okay. for the purchase. Why not? Perfect. Thanks. At least have a passion. Thank you. See you tomorrow at 12. Thank you. Thanks, sir. This is everything. The flash drive, the hard disk, copies I made, and my computer. The only place you can find these documents are in my computer. So here it is. You can delete the files yourself, give me my money, and then you can go. Cassie, I know we've had our differences, but how can I ever thank you for this? Just give me a kiss and my money. Okay. I know you can't kiss me. I mean, why should you? I was a prostitute. It's not about that. Please, no, no. Spencer. Go on. Take your computer. Delete all the information. Take your files, your flash drive, your hard disk, and then you can go. Single thing I need, I am so coming to your house. Okay. I'll tell Bianca every single thing, and I am so certain that I that will not marry a criminal. It, 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 it doesn't have to get to that, okay? I'll, 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 I'll get you another thirty thousand dollars. I'll buy you a new laptop or whatever. Can you please go and screw yourself? You think I want your money? I don't want your dirty freaking money. All the deals cancelled. Nothing to do with you. You and I, nothing cancelled. Get your fair ass off my seat and get out of my house. Ass off my chair. for five long years and in two weeks I am going to marry you. You are not okay. So then just go back to sleep, okay? I'll soon sleep. No, mm, I'll sleep. You said that twice tonight and yet you still stay up on board. Tell me, what's wrong? Mm? So then I can't I can't talk to you about 
Can't stop to you. I try to see if you can trust me with your secrets. But you remind me of this year and tell me that you love me. Baby, I love you. I love you and you know that more than I've ever loved anybody. Then tell me, when burden your heart to me, I will understand. I promise. Okay. I'll tell you, but you have to promise me that after I tell you, even if you don't want to marry me anymore, you won't hate me. Okay. Okay. About ten years ago. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Sir, please, one Miss Cassie is outside asking to see me. Should I let her in? Yeah, do that. Okay, sir. This is Cassie Errol. She was my former confidential secretary, former girlfriend, and one of the 200 girls I unwittingly sent to Italy for sex slavery. Oh, hi, hi. Hi. Is she the one that got all the brother and sister when she was about me with you? Yeah, she is. How about this? Spencer told me everything. But you see, his role in that shameful deal was without any criminal motive or ulterior motive whatsoever. And even at that, he is very remorseful and ashamed of the part he played. I'm sorry, please sit down. I'm, 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 I'm perfectly okay. You know, thank you. Okay. You see, um, by threatening to expose him and go public, it will just hurt Spencer and his family. But it will hurt you, your family, the families of the other victims as well. Is that what you want? Anyway, if you do decide to go public, I'm sure he, by the time he tells them his own side of the story, they will understand, they will forgive him, just as I have forgiven him. And I have decided to stay with him, come with me. Finally, I'm really sorry about what happened. And what you went through in history. Please forgive me. Spencer. Now, aren't you a very lucky man? Oh, mm -hmm. yes, I am. And she's a virtuous woman. Oh, yeah. Thank she you. Is. <laughs> well, everything Spencer told you about myself and Idli and the girls. True. Very true. 
Why do we think? I thought to myself, it isn't Spencer's fault. Neither is it my fault, nor the girls in Italy. They were all victims. I came to tell Spencer, I have forgiven you. I mean, I only came here to wish you a very happy marriage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for what? Spencer. I'm sorry, I can't. No, it's all right. Okay. So, um, you will join us and spend some time with us. No, 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 thank you. I mean, yeah, so we insist. No, please, I, I'm so glad we made up, but I, I need to go out. <laughs> yeah, I should go. It's all right. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. were magnificent. I mean, your performance was awesome. You're much more than what your record says. I am so impressed. Honestly, I am. So does that mean he didn't suspect anything? Absolutely nothing. Everything just went smooth. So, can I get my items, the laptop, the money, all of it? Yeah, Chicky, let me have the bag. All right, your laptop is in here. The money is for five thousand dollars, but we've taken five thousand dollars as we agreed. Oh, perfect. No problem. No problem at all. Perfect. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Should you need our services again, we're always available. We'll certainly be needing your services. <laughs> all right. That stupid bitch. Stupid bitch. Took away my mind and she was gloating about it before my very face. Oh, I forgive him when I understand. Well, I don't be action. I will not understand until he's back to me. Mine. Bitch. <laughs> I'll spend suspense, I'll spend Damien, I take it that Spencer must have briefed you on how our meeting ended the last time I visited himself and Bianca? Yes, he did. And I must thank you for deciding to forgive and forget what is best forgotten. <laughs> what is best forgotten? Oh, come on, Damien, don't be so daft. I mean, that wasn't the case. Actually, I didn't come there to forgive Spencer and let that be a child, my man. I didn't even leave happy that I'd forgiven him. I did not forgive him. As a matter of fact, I left more frustrated and humiliated than I came. <laughs> Who humiliated you? Both of them, two very unreasonable people. That means they leave me with no choice than to kill Bianca and reclaim my title. My title? That's Spencer. What? Murder? Oh, yes, 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 Damon dear. And you are going to help me commit it. Not forbid me. Help you. Oh, I can do it. I cannot spoil my hands with the blood of an innocent. I can't. Oh, Damien, Damien. That's so sad. But honestly, you have to do exactly as I say, because if you don't, I am going to tell Spencer how I got the records about him. And I'm going to, you and your guy forced me to do it. You forced him. Oh yes, yes, he did force you to do it. I remember. Yes, we did force you. But after you had complied with us, did you tell him the truth? Silence. He didn't, did you? Now, Damien, you have to learn that a liar is the same thing as a murderer. So relax. Don't be afraid. Just kill her for me and get on with your life. Cassie, Cassie, just tell me. What do you want from me? What do you want? Tell me. Good boy. Good, good boy. 
Well, I have a substance I want you to help administer on Spencer and Bianca. Now, Damien, you have to administer it at the same time. Not to worry, nothing tragic is going to happen. Both of them are just going to be so excited, they're going to be in cloud nine. Oh, come on, Damien, I'm not going to let you go so easily. I'm going to pay you to make your boss feel high. 200,000 naira. I'll give you 200,000 naira. Are you in? You, you, you haven't told me anything. Have you? Just, just. Damien, after you have put the substance in your drink, you will. You. No, no. Separately. Yes, I'm going to that uh, very important political rally that my party is uh, is organizing. Have you forgotten that today? Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> yes, it is. Really. I understand. Okay. Your wedding is only two days away, so I know that you have so much on your mind. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll right. see you when you get back. Right. Oh, by the way, taking the driver with me. Okay. Uh, Damien will be here. Whatever you want to do. Okay? Okay. Sorry. Right. Right. Bye.
หนึ่งโอ้โหอ I've literally spent one hour in the toilet, and you're just here sleeping away. I need to see the doctor. I'm not feeling too good. Oh. Yeah. Um. Um. Call me next time. Really, just for him. You must tell me you got to see his fiance. I need to. I need to just. I need to go, please. I'm going to call the doctor. Don't go. No. Hello? Baby, you know what? There's no one else I can drive in this compound, man. I can't drive in my condition. Please, if it's the top door, I need to get off. I need to get off. This is bad, mother. You need to take care of me. Is that what you're saying? Give me a now. Don't you go on watching me. อ๋ออันนี้คือเราเราไม่ได้ไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไ
they were both in love his fiance died two days to the wedding allow the man allow the man get crazy let him run mad i'm scared i'm scared this whole thing is getting out of hand i'm scared Cassie. it's okay the most important thing right now is that brenda is dead and nobody is suspecting you okay yeah yeah yes 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 i know Cassie's mean Cassie's wicked Cassie's devil fine thank you very much what about you damien you collected money from me to kill your boss's wife. What are you? <gasps> a saint? Damien, get to that hospital and make sure that my sexy Spencer's ass is safe. Okay. All right. <sighs> when the coast couldn't have been clearer, could it? Nah. <laughs> Now he's mine for the taking. Ah, <sighs> Cassie. Doctor, what you are saying in essence is that my son is, is mad. Uh, Chief, in his present state of mind, a layman would call him mad, but he's not. He's reacting very terribly to the news of the girl's death. In fact, he's blaming it on himself. He's blaming the girl's death on himself? Why? Chief, I don't know. But since he regained consciousness about an hour ago now, he has made several attempts at his own life. Oh my God. Yes. Um, he wants to commit suicide. Chief, as I'm talking to you here, two male staff of this hospital are holding him. We had wanted to sedate him, but we decided to wait for you to come first. Right. Perhaps you can talk to him and get him to calm down. Can, can I see him? You can see him. Yes, solicit your apologies. No, I came to inform you that I'm out of prison, back to Nigeria, and to thank you, thank you so much for sending me to prison. I did not send you to prison. Oh, you don't have to get emotional. You don't have to explain, doctor. Oh, but I you should. Thank you. 
time of such is beings. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I uh, I want you to clear this room and indeed the entire house of anything that is likely to remind Spencer of Bianca. Yes. Yes, uh, the doctor suggested it and I agree. He's going to be discharged today. Yes. And uh, I would like this done. A thorough job. I want done. I'll see to it. And uh, use the the entire domestic staff, if you have to. Yes. Listen, everybody. Um, Spencer is still very sensitive. So be careful what you say and how you say. After a while, it's going to be all right. Okay? All right. Do those things. Thank you. Just let me. different ways to mourn our beloved when they pass on. Dad, how do we mourn the death of those we cast due to our insensitivity and selfishness? How does one mourn the death of a loved one he killed? Like I killed Bianca. You did not kill her. Oh, yes, I did that. No, listen, listen, Spencer. You see, things happen. Dad, please. I need to be left alone. Son, in the absence of your mother, I owe it to you as a duty to stand beside you at moments like this. Please, Dad. I want to be alone.
And kill yourself, it's not going to bring Bianca back. Okay, you stop the trauma. The trauma, the feelings since she died. I, I have to do this. I'm going to... No! No, no, please. No, please. Oh! Oh, hey, hey, I love you. I love you. Come on, Sarko. Come on, Sarko. If he touches the ground, you are dead. You are dead. Okay, you think you can stop me, huh? You think you can stop me? Please. Okay. Please. been harassing me on the phone since you came to my office last week. This is a perfect opportunity for me to also ask you, Dr. Brenda, why did you give me up to the Italian authorities to be jailed? Because I wanted to save you from yourself. I was paid to save you and many others from bringing down the image of this our dear country. What is my business with this country? A country that has failed its youth? What right has that country got to tell me how to live my life? Yeah, I admit, you're totally correct. It has failed its youth terribly. But I mean, that's such a cheap and silly excuse for what you were doing in Italy then. Dr. Brenda, are you aware that some of us were victims of human trafficking and sex slavery? Were you? That's why I and my colleague were sent to save you guys. Yes. It means that you came and put us in prison? I did not put you in prison. You're greedy. Don't you dare your ass down there and judge me. Don't. I hear that some of your so-called colleagues in your miserable delegation actually said you should leave myself and my colleagues alone since we didn't want to comply with you. But you refused. You. You refused. It was solely your decision for them to report us to the Italian authorities and have us jailed. Wasn't that the case, doctor? Like I said, I have to save you from yourself. 
I hope somebody will be around to save you from me too. What are you talking about? Are you threatening me? Oh no, no, of course not. As you can see, Dr. Breda, I am too big for that. Good night. Cassie! Cassie! I am placing both of you in charge of her Spencer. Under no circumstance should you leave him alone. Even when he's asleep, you should not let him out of your sight. Yes, sir. Damien. Sir? Uh, you are relieved of all other duties so that you can concentrate on this. Okay, sir. Now to both of you. If anything ever happens to Spencer, you will not like yourselves. Tell the driver I'm ready. of things to get you guys out of my room. My private room, for God's sake. But you just won't go. Right? No problem. Will you also come with me into the bathroom? I know, sir. You can go in and take a bathroom. No problem. Modern day slaves. You see, sir, I'm just trying to... Yeah, well... can see him for me. Oh, no problem. Because if he tries again and succeeds, the whole essence of my life would have gone with him. And I will not survive it. Oh, Chief, don't go there. Nothing, nothing will happen to you and your soul. Amen. As long as the God I serve is still in his throne in heaven. Amen. Uh, I will always pray for you and your family. Thank you. To worry about Thank you. As regards to the other issue, I will do my possible best to make sure that I meet him tomorrow. First thing tomorrow morning, I will meet with him. Thank you, Father. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's well. Thank it's you. Well. The Lord will protect and guide you and your family. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chief, I will always pray for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a rumble in the clouds of Spencer. 
I want you to understand something. Death is an inevitable end for every living being. It doesn't matter how or when it occurs. As Christians, we are allowed to mourn our beloved ones when they pass on. But not as people without faith. Are you really a man of God? Yeah, sure, I am an ordained priest of the Most High God. Let me ask you this. Go ahead. Is God a sadist? Never. Will never be. Is there anything that happens in this world without his consent? Not at all. I guess you need a Bible reference for better clarifications. The psalmist said in Psalm 24 verse 1, the world and all that is in it belongs to the Lord. The earth and all that lives on it are His, including you and I. Then why did you let Bianca die? Could all this be a big joke to him? Is he up there laughing now at my plight? There you go again. The God I serve, the most high that stays above. Is loving and compassionate to all his creation. No. He's up there. He is up there. Now get out of my room. Did I hear right? Get out. Father, do you know why I want to die? I don't just want to die so that I'll go and ask for Bianca's forgiveness when I see her. No. I also want to die so that I will confront your God. Yes, your most high God for this injustice. What? Do you know what you've just said? This is blasphemy. Oh, this is blasphemy. Blasphemy. Do you want me to start with you, who calls himself a servant of his most high? Do you want me to start with you? I told you to go out, but you didn't want to go. So I'll start with you because you're so. Psychiatrist. Yes, but that's not the important thing here. The important thing is that you have been judging yourself harshly in this situation. And? Are you judging me? Now you know your late fiancé more than I do. Now ask yourself, if she were here to see you, doing what you've been doing to yourself since she died, do you think she'll be proud of you? Of course not. She wanted to accomplish the dreams you have together. Live for her. She wouldn't want you to die for her. Are you a judge? I'm a judge of the mind. And you think I am innocent of this whole thing? Of course you're innocent. Of course you are. Then you're a partial judge. Get out of here. Hey, listen, I think I need to explain some things to you. Get out. Hold on, I'd like to tell you something. Get out!
fast. If you think that by Bianca's death you can now warm yourself back into my life, you must be joking. Now please get out of my life because I will not allow you to benefit from that tragedy. Baby, you understand me? Baby, how could you ever think? Listen, I'll get violent with you now. Get out of my room. Spencer, you are not being fair to yourself. My love, Bianca is gone and gone forever. I am here. I'm here to comfort you. This is because I love you. And I know that the love you once felt for me is somewhere in there. It's just left for you to rekindle it and then we could feel joy in each other's arms. Yes, we can, my love. Yes, we can. I know you love that. I love you. Fantastic speech. You could win an award with that speech. But you know what? <clears throat> How many days did it take you to write that proposal? Feel? Because it didn't work. Now, for the very last time, get out of my room. You be so harsh on a lady. Spencer, come here. Oh. <coughs> me, sir. Yes, sir. Please, I really apologize for everything that he has done to me. Oh. Who is she? She's his ex girlfriend. She just came to condole him and see if she could help out. Oh. Isn't that very nice of you? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, would, would, would you like to come inside? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, yes. all right. Come in. Bye. Oka lo tuyo bwana abo. Aka puna mo feke. Oku odo. Osu pata okoko. Mo nisi. Chief, take this. It is called nsimtasi. Rub the liquid in the bottle of him while he is asleep. When he finally wakes up, his mind will be totally purged of her. Anakudele, you mean... Uh, uh, I am Anakudele. Even the spirit stands still on hearing that name. It is going to work as I said it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. All right. I'm chief. One more thing. Sit down. You must not allow him to see you with the charm before using it on him. Otherwise, it will lose its efficacy. Right. Right. Do you hear that? Thank you. On a good day. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. And the my price is 50,000. This will be nothing compared to what I will give you if this works. It, it will work. Yeah. It will work. I am on a kudele. Obalutile, obalanabo. Akapuna hofebe. Opodo. Go in peace, chief. It will work. Thank you. Go in peace. On a kudele. That is me. Thank you. Even the spirits, they know me.
just wrote that thing on me, Dad. Please leave my room. I need to sleep. Surprised to see me. Kelsey, what are you doing in my compound? And how do you know I live here? Oh, doctor. That's not nice. That's a very wrong way of welcoming somebody. I was thinking you were going to say, oh, Welcome, Cassie. Listen to me, Cassie. The only reason I've not handed you over to the police for harassment and stalking is sympathy. If you stay one more second in my compound, I will hand you over to the police and you will be in prison by now. And let me remind you, Italian prison is paradise. Or bet what is obtained here. Dr. Brenda, I didn't come here to be threatened. I came here for help. Help? You want to start a new life? I'm already living a new life. You want to start a legitimate business? A man. I need a man, a husband, precisely. Cassie, I am a trained psychologist and not a matchmaker. I cannot help you in getting a husband. But your expertise is needed in this situation. You're in the wrong house, okay? Leave my compound. <sighs> Dr. Brenda, come on. I mean, come on. After everything you did to me in Italy, don't you think you owe me one? I owe you nothing, okay? Nothing. Leave my compound right now. <sighs> That's an unwise decision. Unwise, too bad. Bad. You know what? What are you doing? Calling the police, of course. Because you refuse to leave my compound in peace. Okay. Okay. I'll leave. I'm leaving. Not wise. Wrong. Unwise decision. Get out of my compound. I'm leaving. Get out of I'm my leaving. compound. Now. Akman, okay, close the gate. Spencer? Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Where are you going? I just want to take a walk around the compound. I need some fresh air. Mm, don't you think you need food more than you need fresh air? I heard that uh, you've hardly eaten anything for the last eight days. Dad, I know what I want, okay? You don't have to tell me what I want. What I need now is fresh air, okay? Please, son. What you want may not necessarily be the same as what you need. Dad, I'm sorry, I don't need this right now, okay? I've got a very splitting headache and, and I feel and feel nauseous. <laughs>
to make it function properly. Exactly. And that with the treatment that he has received, um, he will be all right. He will be okay, Chief. Hmm. Okay. Doctor, I, I have to confess to you. I am dying slowly with him. And this cannot continue. The Reverend, Reverend Father, failed to comfort him. The psychiatrist also failed. A highly recommended uh, spiritualist. He broke her head. I even went as far as a native doctor. He messed everything up. I mean, Doctor, do you think he will survive this? Why not? Yes, he will. He will survive it. At least since the day you said you cried for him all night. He stopped making violent attempts on his own life. But he is still acting suicidal. So whether he kills himself with a weapon or he starves himself to death, what difference does it make? <laughs> he will not starve himself to death, Chief. He will not. I want you to bring him to my clinic every day. I have some drug that I can give to him that can act as an alternative to food. Sir, his love for her runs deeper than I thought. Damien was right. He needs help. I have to rise up to the occasion. I'll lose him permanently to Bianca even now that she's dead. But then, how, how, how do I go about this? How? Amanda, listen, I need to know who you are with Nelson. Something came up that I want you to help me out. Alright, I'll be there. I'll be there. It is your father. What does he want? Uh, I don't know. Absolutely. Hello, Chief. Yes, it's Damien. We are on our way back from the hospital. Yes, sir. What did he want? Yes. <laughs>
move up my phone. You want to know why we're doing this to you? Wrong question. Who are we? We're kidnappers. We just kidnapped you and this ape. And until your families comply with our demands, you're not leaving this place alive. a lot of good if you just mind your own business. shows that your operation was successful, I presume? Yeah. Everything went perfectly as planned. But the guy's acting strange. He seems to be enjoying everything. I know. That's why I contacted you girls to kidnap him and the lady. Oh, Spencer. Spencer is actually depressed and in deep pains. Now, on the other hand, she is an expert psychologist. Meaning that Spencer needs her expertise to get out of his depression. Now your job is this. You will do everything humanly possible to push him so he could misbehave. Because when he misbehaves, he arouses the psychologist in her. And then she ends up counseling him without even knowing what she's doing. Until he's sound again. So you mean there'll be no ransom? You want to get paid? I have already paid you for this. That means... You get your nose off that business. Just do exactly as I say. Don't get yourself involved in what will happen next. I will control that. Now girls, this is Mr. Andy. He's also an expert in issues like this. Him and I will actually be controlling the show from underground henceforth. So when are they likely to be released? When my aim is accomplished. Now let me quickly brief you on what you'll be doing, your do's and don'ts, so you can quickly go join Edem and the others at the hideout. First of all, I have to sound this as a warning, loud and clear. I will not have anyone, anyone, do anything silly to jeopardize this operation. I will not have it. But this is because this operation is so important to me now and to my future. This is what you're going to be doing. What you're going to be doing is... I want to have the number of the head of your family. Let me have the number. It's time to make contact. My parents are late. The only family I have left are my two younger brothers, who are sponsoring your education in London. If you want to talk to anybody, you can talk to me. Okay? My dad can be brought to here for jamboree. Let me have the phone number of the next of kin. Babe, Fashiha, we need to decide her fate later. You, 
Where is the phone number of your family? For what? For this. The number. What's your father's name? Hello, Chief Ibegwe. You don't need to know who I am. If you want to see your son alive again, then you have to pay us the sum of 100 million naira. Any failure to comply will mean his immediate execution. You think I'm bluffing? You want to hear his voice first? Talk to your father. They yeah, don't mind them. They can't do anything. Hey! You say what we want you to say, not what you like to say. Hello? Hello? The line has been cut off. It's probably switched off. Calm down, Chief. In fact, this case is uh, one of kidnapping. Mm -hmm. They have asked for a ransom of 100 million naira. Calm down, DP Chief. will tell me where in the name of God Am I going to find that kind of money to pay them? Okay, Chief, calm down, calm down, okay? They will call again, and then both of you can settle for the amount you will pay. The kidnappers always settle for less than the initial amount they demanded for, mm. okay? So please calm down. Mm. DPO, my greatest fear is that this boy is not in control of his emotions. He might say something crazy, which might be misinterpreted, and they might just shoot in panic. Chief, please calm down. Please. Hmm? They will not harm your son. It's money they want. See, kidnappers are not often murderers, you know. They just want money. So please calm down. Okay? Oh, God. Why? Why, my son? Why now that he's battling with his emotions? Why? Chief, please calm down. Please, for God's sake, calm down. And Chief, listen. As soon as they call again, I want you to start negotiating with them. My men and I will try to track them down. We are going to free your son and one other lady that was kidnapped soon after he was abducted. My superiors have ordered me to make this case priority number one. And chief, that is what it is right now. Thank you. Thank you. So please calm down. Okay? Calm down. We, we will free your son and we'll get at those bastards. Think your vacation here or what, huh? Eat this food or or what? You kill me? You go ahead and kill me. I'm not gonna do what you want. Shut the fuck up! 
Rule number one. When we talk, you don't talk back at us. Do you understand? Hit me again. Hit me. Come on. Go on. Hit me. I'll make sure I die. Come on. Are you a coward? Sherry, just listen to me, please. Um, I will handle this whole situation, okay? Okay. You can't force him to eat. You can't. Then tell him to eat this goddamn food. If not, this is going to be the last time you see food here. And I mean it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Cannot be fair to yourself. Life isn't fair, is it? Uh, yeah, you may be right. But I want you to be fair to me in this case. You heard what you said. That she will stab us if you don't eat this food. And if you allow her to carry out her threat, I'll be dead in a few days. Yes, I have to walk also. And you know what that means. That I have to eat regularly. And if I don't, there'll be trouble. Well, that's not my business. No, but it will be your business. If I die here because of you. You're disturbing me, please. Yes. And your conscience will disturb you for the rest of your life. If you allow an innocent woman like me die in this goddamn place because of you. And you will live with this for the rest of your life. Yeah, well, I don't know what I've been living with. Whatever you're living with, do you really want to add to it? Do you? What do you want from me? Take care. You eat one spoonful, I eat one spoonful. You do not eat, I do not eat. And if I die because of all this, I swear to God, you will live with this for the rest of your life. Thank you for seeing me. Coming with me. I am not going anywhere with you. Do you know who I am? Is it because you don't see me here often? 
You're not in any position to give me orders here, okay? Yes, I know that. But I'm not leaving here without him. Then I have to do what I have to do right here. Oh. I'm better. Just tell What you guys are planning? No while I'm here. For real? Yeah, you know me. You know me, right? You know I don't mind dying here right now. This is not going to happen. Not to this girl, but when I'm here. Not now. Not now. When I should go ahead. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You're shouting at me? Oh, what am I doing? I'm not just using those crazy people with guns and those guns have bullets. Hello? I would not have shot me. They need the money. Okay, besides, I was just protecting you. Do you know what they wanted to do? No, just leave. Just leave me alone, please. Just go. I'll leave you alone. According to the information from the girls, Dr. Brenda has their work on Spencer. Now that is going as planned. All hands must be on deck to make sure this continues to look like a real kidnapping for money. Now pick up that phone, switch it on, and call Chief. Relate to him exactly as planned. Okay then. Hello, Chief Ibeke. Are you ready with our money or you want to pick your son's cup somewhere in town? <laughs> How can I possibly do that? I mean, the money. The money is not in the house. I have to go to the bank first. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, but... Uh, um, oh. Uh, yes. Uh, wait. Wait. Young man, you have to wait or go back. We have orders from our spear to stop every traffic to get a street in next one hour. Why? 
Oh, uh, why? Well, but I have to get to my house, sir. Uh, uh, you, uh, you want me to bust a tire? It is not possible. I have to get to my house. Go back. Don't worry. Go! 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 And met another set of policemen. You see, they got orders from uh, the superior that no one should cross the street for the next one hour. I think uh, it seems the chief is calling us bluff by like calling in the police on us. Yes, uh, I'll call you back. Uh, uh, yes. You can stop. Hello, Chief. It seems you don't want to see your son alive any longer. I, I, I'm almost there. With the, with, the, with the money? Oh, yes. What? You're getting close to the place with the money when you've already called the policeman to stay there so that when my man comes to get the money, you will now arrest him. Is that what you're planning, Chief? No, 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 no. no. I, I, I never called any police. I, 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 never, I, never, I never called any police at all. I, I, I just pointed them at the, at the junction. That's why I took the, uh, the, the, muddy, the, yeah, the muddy road. Yes, I turned right. Honestly, I, I'm sure it's a coincidence. Uh, because I didn't send anybody. Please, forgive me. Give, me. give me another chance. Forgiveness. I should forgive you. I don't think I have such a word in my dictionary, Chief. Your son dies now. <laughs> please, 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 please forgive me. I, 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 I'll, I'll double the money. Please. Just another chance, please. If you will kill him, you've killed me. Please. It's so late, Chief. Bye. Hello? 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 Oh, God. I have switched off. Oh. My son, they are going to kill my son. What am I living for? Oh, that, that DPO! I only told him to clear the, 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 the road! Oh! Driver! Take me to that police station. We need it. God, help me. This is not, it's not what you think, Chief. I was only responding to your request by deploying my men to, your, to, the, to the area. DPO, I did not ask you to, de, to deploy any of your urchins into that area. I asked you to clear the way so I can get there on time. You were busy looking for promotion with my son's life. How could you? How could you do that to me? I'm, I'm sorry. You're sorry? <laughs> After my son is killed, you are sorry? Chief, you might still be alive. Then where is he? I will get my men to look for him and they will bring him back to you. Chief, kidnappers are not often murderers. All they want is money. And they will lose it if they kill him. If anything happens to my son, then I promise you that something will most certainly happen to you. I mean, everything is going crazy in this country, you know? But the good thing is that this job is paying well. You mean? Hello, Cassie. What? So how do we handle the girl? Should we kill the guy? Oh, his father messed up with you. Oh, okay, 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 it's not my business. Fine. So, what do you want us to do now? All that just to see a reaction? 
Kasi. See, if you ask me, I don't think all this risk is worth it. It's not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's so fine. It's okay. I said it's okay. Fine. I'm doing your job. You're paying me. Good. Okay. Fine. How does Cassie want this tomorrow? Will you just steal it then? Damn. I'm tired of this bullshit. Damn. Chuki, who isn't? The thing is, she's paying us and she's paying us real good. So, we do her job. Get up! You know what? You're gonna fuck with us! And you don't take shit from nobody! Alright? So you see your last prayer and come with us. And we're doing that right now. Hey, I ain't got no last prayer to say. I'm coming with you right now. Fine! Ties hands and blank eyes. Oh, no, 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 can we talk? Please. Fine. You have just 10 seconds to say whatever you have to say. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I I don't know you girls very well, okay? But uh, you girls don't look like mothers to me. You look like me. You look just like beautiful, intelligent, smart young ladies that are just frustrated because of the imbalances in this our society. And you just want to earn a living. But you know what? If that's the case, then killing this young guy here will achieve your motive of kidnapping him in the first place. Okay? You need lots of money in your pocket and not blood in your hands. His father is not willing to pay the money. He disappointed us. <sighs> Disappointment? Anger? Frustration? I mean, to what extent you're broke down with that? I mean, it's not enough to shed human blood. Just give his father a second chance, alright? And see what happens. Huh? He just please spare his life and take you spare his life. Please. Can we go now? Um please, you know what? Just don't listen to him, alright? I'm talking to you here. Please, just do it, please. Just let's go. Thank you very oh, much. Hey, 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 can we go now? Come on, he's not going to pay you, alright? He's not going to You're just wasting money buying all this stuff from your secrets and all that. He's not going to pay you. Stop it, alright? Just stop all this rubbish. Stop it, alright? I'm trying to save your life here, okay? You should be grateful. I didn't ask him to help. I'm trying to save your life. I didn't ask him to help. God, you're so impossible. God! So you think we're fools? Whoever told you that we were by the cook and the story you've been telling us about your family must be stupid. Wait, are you saying that I've been lying to you? Huh? Just give us the phone number of your next of kin or we'll waste you this moment. Who do you need the phone number for? I mean, he's the first one you need, right? Tell me, how much do you want? Ten million naira, or you're dead. I don't have ten million. I have five million naira. No. Eight million, or no deal. Oh, okay. Okay. Please, can I just have the handbag I kept in the car the day you kidnapped me? My checkbook is inside my bag. Check? Do you want to set us up? Do you want the police to catch us all and get to the bank to cash the money? 
How can you really surprise that you don't even know the job you do? That is an insult. And no, it is not. My presence in your custody guarantees that nothing will happen to whoever goes to the bank for the money. Isn't it? Man, do you think I want to die here? Do you? I have a promising life after all this ordeal, okay? And I have to stay alive to live that life. Please just get me the checkbook, please. She wants to pay the money with a check. Yes. I think she's trying to set us up. I don't think it's a setup. I mean, I honestly don't think she's trying to set us up. But I agree with you. It's extremely suicidal picking a check from her when she's still in our custody. I would say take the check. What? Who is going to the bank to cash the money? You? Does it occur to you that no bank will pay you such a huge amount of money without taking a photograph of you? Do I look like a moron to you? I am not a moron. Meaning, I know what I'm doing. Andy will cash the check from the bank. Besides, why does it bother you so much? It's not your money, it's mine. I paid you, I paid your girls, I paid Andy for everything you're all doing. So don't poke your nose in my money affairs, okay? It's my money. If I want to cash it, I will. If I don't want to cash it, I could still let it go. My business. Mine. Fine, I will. You must. I will. Is a young man like you so tired of life? Why did you give up to fate in such a fatal manner? Do you think dying will solve all your problems? Huh? You don't know anything about me. I have seen enough in the last five days. I would know that you really want to end your life.
that mark on your wrist was not given to you by someone else. It was self-inflicted. And it wasn't by accident. Why don't you just stop talking? You don't know shit about me. Listen, Spencer, I am not daft, okay? I had my PhD in psychology at age 24. My job is to help people like you. And to give them a new reason to leave. I don't need your help! Now back off! told me to tell me that your check was successfully cleared. So they are ready to go back home the moment they arrive. Um, what about him? He is our business, not yours. Look, he's also my business. <laughs> I am going nowhere with him. I take that to mean that you want to pay his ransom also? You know that I've exhausted all I have. I don't have one million right now in my account. Then forget him! Look, his father does not want him out of this alive. If not, he wouldn't have called the police to arrest my girls when they went for his ransom the last time. So stay out of this. No. If you tell yourself the truth, does it sound like his father doesn't care about his son? You know what? Just give him a second chance and see what happens. Second chance for what? Second chance for him to arrest us? He would not do that. And you know it. He would do that. Just give him a second chance, right? Okay, why not just call him again and see what happens? Have you gone nuts? Are you crazy in the head or something? You just have a chance to get out of here and you're too much. Listen, okay? I'm not sitting here without you, alright? And I need to sleep right now. God! Thank your partner for saving your life. Because my girls have a change of heart because of her. So I'm going to call your father again for the last time. Yeah, Chief. The money is now 30 million naira. Now listen. Take the money to TBS Junction at exactly 2 p.m. today along Freedom Buster. Someone will be there to collect the money. However, let me warn you, at the sight of any uniform man, the deal is over. 
You want to talk to your son? Okay. Talk to your father. Hello, Dad. Chief, this will be the last time you hear his voice if he don't come no, 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 no. I, I, I promise. I promise you I will not disappoint. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? What did I say, Chief? DPO, I don't want you or your men in this. Come on, Chief. You can't be serious. If you do not do as I say and my son gets killed, I swear by my blood that I shall not rest until you and your entire generation is wiped out. Sir, you are threatening an officer of the law. Come on, Chief. Give us a chance to bust this guy. Please. Damien, sir, let's get out of this place. Again, right? You brought on the police and asked them to, to, to send a roadblock at the place we were meant to meet. No, 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 no. no. And, and I, 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 honestly, I tell you, I, not, I don't know anything about the police presence there. Oh, Chief. This is one plan to me, Chief. Just go home and wait for your son to come. Hey, hey, please. You know nothing. And that coincidence, right? Well, this time, a very bad coincidence. Go to Chief. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Oh, God! You must be joking. Okay. Come back here immediately. I don't need the money anymore. Well, from what Mendes and Co has told me this morning, it's obvious I've achieved my main goal. Dr. Brenda has succeeded in counseling him out of depression. All right, we'll talk when you get here. What happened? Chief goofed again, and they saw some policemen around the exchange point. God. So what do we do? Because we can't drag this any further, risking being arrested. Yes. Get back to the hideout and kill Brenda. What? Why kill her? Because I have scores to settle with her. I'm done with her in this operation, so she dies. Don't you think this is... Listen to me. I'm too old in games like this to take things for granted. You don't expect those two to go through such ordeal and leave that place and not have some kind of bond or something. I cannot take anything for granted now. The last thing I need in my entire life is some girl dragging Spencer's love with me again. Now please, kill her. Cassie, how do we kill Brenda 
and allowed Spencer to escape without risking being arrested. How? Well, well, you, you first take him out in the morning, pretending you want to kill him. You get him outside, make some stupid, silly mistake to make him have a chance to escape. He escapes, you get back to the hideout, accuse Brenda of being the reason why he escaped. You shoot the living daylight out of her. Do you have a problem with that now? No, sounds perfect. Thank you. Consider it done. It has to be done. I'll do it. Get me a drink. Okay. So tell me, what are you going to do when you get out of there? Well, I'll just put all this behind me. Return to my office and my job. So you're like a government employee or something? No, I'm into private practice. Private practice? Yes. Wow, you must have made a success out of it. To be able to afford 8 million naira for this easy deal. <laughs> well, I just thank God for everything. You know, it's, it's, it's great, really. Now tell me, what will you do when you get back home? Yeah, well, first of all, I'll apologize to my family for all I put in through while I was wallowing in my sense of loss. Get back to the company, make up for lost time. You know, my father's into politics, so he never has time for business. So I'm the one running the company. Okay. No relationship? <laughs> relationship? I haven't really thought about that yet. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. I'm just so happy that you stopped thinking of death. Well, thanks for getting my mind away from me. <laughs> oh, girl, I can't wait to get back home. I need a hot shower. Lay down, lay down, lay down to my skin. I can imagine. I think it's gonna work. Of course it's gonna work. Besides, it's the only chance I've got. They're not gonna release me. Okay, okay. Go with your plan there and see how what happens, okay? So as soon as the next person comes in, you exaggerate. Okay.
Linda, how did it go? What? Are you joking or something? My goodness, you bitch! How could you sit on the edit on such a mission? God! How could you fuck me up like this? Oh, wait, wait, oh, 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 oh. Is there a conspiracy against me here? Is there? Okay, okay. You are going to get up from wherever you are. Just do this. If you're this thinking black ass, and leave town. The reason is because Brenda and Spencer know your face. They will identify all of you one by one. And if they do, I will so deny you, you will not know what hit you. Oh, forget about that, bitch, and leave the goddamn town. Better. My, my goodness! How did she say this, news? How? It's so embarrassing, I can't even know it. So, what are we going to do next? How am I supposed to move around here? Figure it out. I'm in my room. Please, let's go in. It doesn't say well of a man of your status to be crying before the people like you've been doing in the past one and a half hours. Ah. Of, of what use is my status? Of what use? Without my only son? Son, I understand. But please, you just have to. Let me and get out. Oh, no. Oh, you get help. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So we have some rest. Yes. I'm free. I'm free that I escaped. Is it you? It's me that I It's you. It's you! Yeah! It's you! It's you! Oh, how have you been? Oh, me? I'm thinking of you. <laughs> I'm free. She helped me escape. Oh, my dear. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, it is you! I'm free now. <laughs> I'm used to so much. Thank you. Oh, oh. Uh, Dibio. Ah, thank you, thank you. It is you. It's a long hot shower. Man. Shower. Yes. Come in, come in, everyone, come in.